Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Jason Tucker from WP Water Cooler. Um, we did a show a couple episodes back where um, I was complaining about the dashboard and the way in which you can customize the dashboard. We actually did an entire episode regarding the dashboard and um, and just the customizations that you could do in it. And um, a listener viewer, Tim. Um, from the Netherlands, um, actually uh, ended up building a plugin that would allow for us to um, to make those changes. And so, I thought I would uh, do a little bit of a kind of a cross um, something that you don't normally do on YouTube. I guess you can do a reaction on a YouTube video, um, but um, it's almost like a duet in a way that you're doing if you were using uh, TikTok. So um, I'm going to watch uh, live um, the video that uh, Tim produced and um, kind of give you my reaction to it as we're going through and uh, watching it together. So without further ado, here is that video. Hi, my name is Tim. I'm a full stack developer from the Netherlands. Uh, for the past nine years, I was making websites and plugins for uh, clients at a ad agency. And I recently quit to see if I could make plugins and earn a living with that. Now, it might take a while, but this is one of my first ones that I think I may want to sell. So, if you received this video, I'd love your feedback and uh, help in, in seeing if this is a success or it can become a success. Um, this is my website, timber.dev. It's not much, it's not done, but at least you can f find me here. Awesome, You've got awesome. my socials. And uh, if you want to reach me, you can do it through um, Discord, Twitter, um, the way you got this message, or you can I love this use idea, the contact Tim. page. And uh, besides uh, that, there's also some so pretty cool. interesting blog articles, I think. Anyways, let's, uh, let's get into the plugin itself. All right, this is uh, a local right. site, so you, don't, you can access it. And uh, let's take uh, get rid of this camera. So, all right. Um, this is a pretty standard WordPress install, and uh, we're gonna nice. do the dashboard last because that's what the plugin is about. It's a dashboard plugin. Um, let's take a look at the users first. We got three users. I'm currently logged in this test. That's an administrator. We've got an admin old, which is also an administrator, and we've got an old user uh, user, which is an author author old. So just keep that. In so I, I did want to stop Tim real quick and, and kind of give you a, a bit of a rundown as to what was um, going on here. So the idea is that, um, you know, as a single user on a WordPress website, um, customizing the dashboard and the actual dashboard, the first thing you see when you log into the website is a pain point for me. Um, if I'm going to allow the users um, at the organization I work at to be able to log into the WordPress dashboard and actually start um, doing things on there. Um, I wanted to lock it down. I also wanted to um, to force the um, force the order in which each of those widgets are going to be showing up on that dashboard. And I just wanted to make sure that um, things are uh, nice and tidy, and I have full control over it. Because when you have the keys to the kingdom, you want to make sure it's all in full control. Back to Tim. My these three users exist. They've logged in and they've customized their dashboard. Well, not me, but. I'm going to do it in, in a second. So, um, themes. We got a very standard theme, but we're going to do nothing with the theme, so I figured just pick a standard one. Plugins. There's two plugins active right now Gravity Forms and Yoast. Why these two? <laughs> sure do. These two add dashboard widgets. So, if we go back nice. to the dashboard, we can see we got Site Health, Quick Draft, At a Glance, Activity, Events, very Forms, cool. which is provided by Gravity Forms, and the Yoast dashboard plugin. Now this is by default. I didn't customize anything. In fact, I cleared the database of preference settings. So this is what I get as an admin when I log in. Now, this is kind of ugly. In the screen option, you can see everything is enabled. The welcome panel is disabled. I don't know why I didn't get a welcome panel. That may be a bug on my system, but that's, uh, I'll figure it out later. Um, so this is default, and I can customize it for me, but that's going to do nothing right. for my users and my future users. So that's what the plugin aims to solve. 
it lets me configure the dashboard and then save it to be the dashboard layout Perfect. for all the other users. All right, well, let's give it a try. So it doesn't have a name yet. I, I uh, codenamed it the Conmary <laughs> dashboard because we're going to keep things neat and tidy. So it's activated. It doesn't do Maybe anything. Timari? That might be fun. And because you only want to do this once, kind of, unless you want to All redo right. it, I, I think put it under settings. Place to put it. So there's three steps to this plugin. The first one is remove meta boxes. When you remove meta boxes completely, it doesn't do anything special. It just removes them for you, for users, for editors, for authors, for everyone. So let's go back to the dashboard. Now let's say we want to completely get rid of uh, Quick Draft because I don't like it. First, we've got to detect all meta boxes. And this happens real quick, but in fact, it redirects you to the dashboard with a special flag, Smart. then it detects all the, the meta boxes that are there, and then it redirects you back. So now we've got all the um, meta boxes that are available on this list. Uh, what did we I'm say? Quick pause, Draft. Tim, real quick here. So. One thing regarding that that I like is the fact that if I do end up adding new plugins that also include additional uh, meta boxes um, that, that live on the dashboard, that I'm going to be able to go in there and run that detection to detect new boxes and then turn on and off the ones that I want to and set them in place and do all the fun things that I'm looking to do. Awesome idea, Tim. I'm right, loving so this so Quick far. draft, save settings. Get a little confirmation here. Now, if we go back to the dashboard, Quick Draft is nice. gone. And you also oh, cannot add it back. It's really gone, gone. No longer in so the So that's area. step one. So this way, you can just completely remove any meta box that you don't want for you, but also you don't Very want for cool. your users. Just get rid of it. All right, step two. And this UI is going to completely change because this <laughs> looks like crap. And, um, it's your MVP, man. That needs some Love work. It. But the functionality is there. So I'm not going to distribute this version. I'm going to clean this up, get a UI. But no I just wanted to get this video out first. So step two, additional features. What additional features do we have? Well, there's sort of two parts. There's the welcome panel oh, okay. and there's placeholders. Let's start with the welcome panel. Um, just like the remove section, we can completely remove the welcome panel oh, for nice. anyone and everyone. But what you can also do is hide it by default. So what that does is uh -huh. when a new user would log in, it checks, has the user expressed a preference on whether or not they want to keep the welcome panel or disable Smart. it? If they haven't, then this kicks into action and it disables it for Very you. Cool. So if you want to keep the option of enabling the welcome panel, if you want to let your users nice. re-enable the welcome panel, then you could use the hide welcome panel option. All right, then we have remove placeholders. On the dashboard, if, like in the default order, you have empty oh, columns, here we go. you get this. Drag yep, boxes yep. here, dot, 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 dot. If you don't want that, because it's not that pretty, <laughs> remove placeholders, save settings. Oh, uh, Tim, you thought of everything. That shit's gone. No more dashes. I love it. I mean, you can still drag it over here. You just don't get the feedback that it's possible. That's that cool. That may need a little tweak, so. All right, so step two is done. Then step three, this is where it sort of gets complicated, but not really. So on the status part, we can see the plugin detects that we've customized ah. our meta box order, but we haven't customized our hidden meta boxes. Now we can, we don't have to. If these are all the meta boxes you want to show, right. uh, that's fine to users. This plugin allows you to set a new custom default for there the order and what's hidden. Nice. And the welcome panel. If a user has already customized their dashboard, they're not going to get the default. Right. They're going to get their own. So we're not overriding what they have. Totally if you do want to override what they have, you can hit this button 
and it will remove everyone's preferences so that what we're going to set becomes everyone's yes, new default that's smart. because they don't have okay. a default. So let's do that. And because we are part of everyone, ours will be reset cool. as well. Now, the final feature. <laughs> the, the feature that is actually all about. Setting your current dashboard yes. as the new default. Now, you can't do this right now because we haven't customized our dashboard. Make, if it's not customized, totally then sense. what are we saving? So let's, uh, let's actually use this as you would in the field. Um, which one did we want to keep? We wanted uh -huh. to keep site health yeah. and uh, at a glance. And let's say we want at a glance over here and site health over there. So this is very right. a unique setup. Blank, blank, site health at a glance. Let's uh -huh. go back to settings. Uh. Now it's going to say you've customized this, you've customized that. We, didn't, we don't have anything saved yet, but now this button's available. So we're going to save our dashboard as Perfect. the dashboard. And previously, we've cleared everyone's preferences. So now this is set and this is set. And now this should be the dashboard for everyone. Uh -huh. Now we can customize it again. Let's move to the left. Right. This is just our dashboard. But what we set just now, that's everyone's dashboard, or at least everyone's default. So let's see if that worked. So let's go to uh, one of the other users, admin old and author old. Admin old. Nice. There you go. That's what we said. I love it. I love it. And if we go to author old. Author oh, that's old, so good. This guy's missing a dashboard, uh, a meta box. That's because he doesn't have the rights that makes to perfect this sense. meta box. Yeah, because his role doesn't have so that. He can't turn it on, even. So we're not messing with anyone's rights. We're right. just saying this would be ideal, and then WordPress will say, well, he's not allowed to show that. So That's cool. Etc. So this were, these were existing accounts. Let's make a new account. And um, I think that's yep. our uh, final test. Um, users, let's do admin new, admin new, password, <laughs> yes, it's weak, but it's a local WordPress install, don't do this when you're online or on staging, uh, don't use an email, created, All right. let's log out, log in, admin new, admin new, and we're going to have two boxes on the right side, then it worked. It worked. Now, this still means, because yeah, yeah, we're yeah. an admin, right? We're a new admin. We can still customize it. We can still get everything back. But the Kamari plugin, <laughs> not trademark, Kamari, <laughs> has set Kamari. a new custom default. So you're still giving your users the freedom to choose what they want on a dashboard, but it's going to be a much cool. nicer dashboard by default. I think that covers everything. If you have feedback from me, then I'm I'd love to hear. Provide some right now. So one of one of the things I'm curious about watching. is what happens when you are a um, like what happens if you have multiple multiple admins that are on the site and. Um, Essentially, we end up fighting over who's the one that's making the templated setup, which makes me wonder, like, would it make sense to have, um, like, presets that could be set that would um, allow for um, for each of these can could be set up a certain way? And that also brings me into, like, what about if you um, made it so that you could apply it to a specific user role? So um, if you have a user role that is for um, someone who maybe is only able to uh, update calendar information on the website or only able to update um, for a particular custom post type or whatever, whatever the, uh, you know, whatever it is that you end up setting up for that, um, could you apply that template or that preset rather to um, that particular uh 
that particular um, role. And then the next time a user gets added who also has that role, then they inherit all of that setup. And then you can kind of load one up, load up that, that, set, that preset, make changes to it, hit the save button, and then it saves it in place. And then after that, we won't have to worry about, um, you know, jumping in and out between the two or, or any of those sorts of things. Um, you did, you did mention that, um, you know, because of roles, if that person um, doesn't have access to that particular meta box anyhow, then, um, you know, they just, they, they don't, you know, they're not able to see it anyhow. So you're kind of, you're, you're swooping in kind of towards the end of right before things get displayed. So you're able to turn off and on um, the things as needed. So um, I, I, overall, I'm, I love this thing. It's great. Um, take my money. <laughs> I'm definitely going to use it um, at the, uh, at the church I work at and the, uh, um, the website that we have kind of um, building out there. And I'm able to uh, just kind of uh, make sure that people have access to very specific things and also make sure that their dashboard looks exactly the way that I'm expecting it to look. So that way, when I do support tickets or any of those sorts of things regarding the things that they normally have access to, that um, they have exactly the same way that I would um, expect it to look. So Tim, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Um, I'll have links to Tim's website and all the stuff within the um, description of this video. Um, thank you very much for, um, for watching this fun little content that I thought I'd just throw together real quick and play around with and um, see if it's something that's, um, that's interesting to you. Talk to you all later. Bye-bye. I mean, it's a WP Water Cooler show. I might as well tell you to go subscribe. Go over to our website at wpwatercooler.com slash subscribe, where you can subscribe to this content and all the other content that's going on over there. You can also listen to us as a podcast. You probably won't listen to this particular thing as a podcast, but that's it. Talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.